Oh, hey. Okay. So it just starts like this. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another weird random video thing where I am once again recording the demo of the next Pokemon game. Uh, basically, the first game that I recorded on my 3DS was the demo for Oras, and so I just decided since the demo's out for Sun and Moon, why not do that too? I'm excited for the game. I can play video games. Let's begin in English. That was a weird intro. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the first island. God, guys, you don't know how excited I am for Sun and Moon. More than I was for Oras, which is weird. I'm even more excited for the music, to be honest. Listen to this. This is awesome. And it's especially exciting because now they know what to do with the 3DS hardware. Because, to be honest, X and Y, and even Oras to some extent, wasn't really using the extent of the 3DS. They were experimenting. Dear son, if you're reading this letter, then you must have already arrived in the Alola region. Hope you're not too tired from the move. Is that Greninja I left for you doing okay? That Pokemon loves the heat. So it should enjoy having some hot Pokemon battles in the heat. Why does it enjoy the heat? It, it's a water type. I guess it makes some sort of sense somewhere. The sender forgot to write their name. Seems it can't be found on the o letter or the envelope. Okay, well apparently our our sole Pokemon is a super strong Greninja. Better have her head over to City Hall to let them know your new address here in Alola. City Hall, now that's something new for a Pokemon game. So it's going to be modernized, yet Hawaiian. I guess those aren't mutually exclusive, but... I mean, I... C Look at this. This looks so much better than X and Y and Oras. Model-wise. It almost it reminds me a lot of, like, the GameCube Pokemon games. Or even, like, Battle Revolution. Just with the size of the models. Look at that walking animation! What in the world? Did you know that when you greet someone in Alola region, you say Alola? Of course you do. Just like you say Kanto in the Kanto region. Hey, Kanto, my friend. You just moved here to this address. Alola. Let's see, let's see. So you moved here from the Kanto. Oh, apparently we're from Kanto. Interesting. Please wait for a moment while I process this. Sure, thank you very much. That information was too much. He has to process it before he goes on. I guess we should just relax and wait here. Oh, look at everything. It looks so good. It looks like an actual game. And when I say that, I mean, like, it's not just everything's set to tiles. Things are, like, actual models, not in squares. Because even Oras was like that. Like, some things might be modeled differently, but they were, they were essentially a tile apart, no matter what. You wouldn't see anything under a tile apart from each other. Or I guess they could be, like, no tiles apart. Can we sit? No sitting? Dude. Look at this. The running animation looks normal, but this walking animation, dude, he... Look at those arms. Do I just have to talk to her to get back? No? Okay. What about you? Main... We maintain our roads so everyone can ride Pokemon safely. But like I was saying earlier, I was expecting Alola to be like really, really... Kind of like tribal Hawaiian, if that's a thing. I don't know much about Hawaiian culture, but I was expecting, like, coconut huts and whatnot. I don't know. Kind of Isle Delfino-y. What's your name, son? Is, hey, is your name Sun? Uh, yeah. What's yours? I'm How. 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 I'm assuming that's uh, what it is. I'm glad I asked my grandpa to come to City Hall. I got to meet you after all. Also, I, I read online that this is, like, 45 minutes long, this demo. So hopefully... I can do it in like 45 minutes so I don't have to split it up into like two parts or something. Alola. That's so weird. Because it's not like you say, like you go to Hawaii and you say Hawaii to everyone to say hello, you know? That sounds like a great idea. I'll show you all the coolest stuff, son. That's so weird. It's like he's our dad. Have fun. I would hate to have my name as son. Because like everyone would just be like, hey, Sonny. This, you know, you know why. I'd have to call everyone daddy. Oh, hey, look at those guys. Yo, 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 I've never seen you in Alola before. Were you... Were you flew here, or were you grew here? Oh, Jesus. Come on. At least the dialogue seems to be better than the Oras demo. 
Yo, did you see that walk? You come from someplace far away, huh? Got any rare Pokemon, huh? Wow, it's Team Skull. These baddies are always stealing Pokemon from people. We're not bad, we're just... <laughs> we're not bad guys, we're just hard. That's, that's the motto I live by now. We're just a bunch of guys and gals with great interest in other people's Pokemon. So what we're getting at is, you want to give us your Pokemon? Pokemon are our friends, we can't just give them to you. <laughs> Look at this guy going off on us. I could just let this animation play all day, to be honest. Oh, now <laughs> when the squad comes up. Son, you got a Pokemon, right? Let's give these guys a Pokemon. Double battle? Double battle? I hope so. Look at that. Team Skull music. I'm just processing everything. Because you know, once the game comes out, this is something you'll be seeing like 50 or so times. Fighting a skull grunt. You'll see that animation. You're gonna hear this music. Yeah, that's like, oh, I only have one Pokemon, but you know. It's literally an Ubers. Whoa, look at this splash screen on the bottom. So, the restore there, summary. Dang, look at this guy. He's a special attacker, I'll keep that in mind. Barely, though. <laughs> special attacker, but he only has physical attacks other than Water Shuriken. Okay, in battle. Okay, so that's how you switch, then. Bag? Ooh, this looks... I'm really digging the style of all these. Run. There's no running from a trainer battle. Like, there's little feet on the run icon. And look at these. What's... Can I, like, press the info thing? L-A. Move info. So you can see it from the actual fight screen. Wow, that's actually really good. I'm assuming Young Goose is just, like, a... A normal type. So we'll just Night Slash him. I don't know. I don't know the new Pokemon types. As well as I probably- well, took him down. That wasn't the biggest problem. We have a Greninja, to be fair. Look at that face. Dang, that is- this is some good music, I gotta admit. Once again, they actually know what they're doing. With 3DS hardware. This kid's way too strong, no bones about it. <laughs> well, try beating us both next time. We've got a bone to pick with you. We're gonna tell our big sis about you. Oh, I'm scared. I sure am scared. Now's the time that they decide to mow outside, of course. Nothing to be scared of as long as we have... <laughs> we got Pokemon by our side. What did you have, though? Pokemon's called Greninja, right? That's so cool. Yeah, that's definitely in the Kanto region. Wanna heal my Pokemon up, too? It's assumed that Kanto and... uh, What is it? Kalos are somewhat close by, but Kanto's based on Japan and Kalos is based on France, so I don't know how close they can possibly be. Welcome to Haoli City. Haoli City, I think. Look at this. Angles. Hey. Wow. Mele Mele Ferry Terminal. So Mele Mele is this, the name of the island I remember. Wow. Alright, 15 minutes later, I think he's done weed whacking. Okay, back to the game. Send its lovely branches flying. Corsola can shoot its branches? I didn't know that, and apparently things are big. And I can't walk within three feet of a person. Makes sense. I know it's just a border. Sun, Pokemon Center's over here. Oh wow, that looks stylish. I wonder if it's gonna include the Mart like previous games, except for Oras. You actually have to press A to open the duel. This isn't the... This is like the first game that hasn't had the... Oh no, there it is. I was gonna say, it's like, wow, that's not... That's not the Pokemon Center theme. You can use potions to heal your Pokemon. That reminds me, son, you can have one of my super potions. Oh, thanks. I'm definitely going- I like how they added the ukulele in. The ukulele is in a lot of the songs in this, and I love ukulele. Where are we going next? Wow, the style of the song changed. So what's the cafe over here? Owner of the cafe area is on a trip around the world in search of the finest ingredients. 
Should be back in about a month. So you just stand at the counter being like, yeah, I can't get anything for you. Okay. I don't know, dude. You can go really far. You've got a strong Pokemon. Who knows how far you can go? Well, I just happen to only have a strong Pokemon. Yes, I know. Pokemart. Of course, ev literally everything's out of stock. Good business practice. I don't even need to heal, but sure. I, I'm missing one PP from one attack. Interesting screen there. Thank you for waiting. Cool. So now we can just leave. Yeah. So we can explore the city now. Or not. I just want to explore, man. Hey there, Hal. What's with, who's that with you? Hi, Professor Kukui. I'm assuming that's a kind of tree. This is a sun. This is a sun? This is a sun. He moved here from the Kanto region all the way around across the ocean. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Yo, why do they have the, like... I guess this is Kukui's theme. I was a huge fan of Sycamore's theme, so I don't think anything can beat that, to be honest. Researching Pokemon moves. Just moves? Okay. Hey, Professor, you should train Sun. That came out of the blue. What's up, how? We just ran to the Team Skull Thugs, and it got pretty rough. Okay. I wouldn't want you to be in any trouble if you got attacked again. Do we get to try out Z-moves, I wonder? Sure, a trial. Why not? Totally focused on training before I even tell you what it is, yeah? I respect that. Just like the focus of Machamp, the superpower Pokemon using the Focus Blast. Trials are a custom we have here in the Alola region. Young boys and girls go through them to get stronger as trainers and get closer to their Pokemon. When you're, whenever you're ready, come on out to while we hold the trial. Ten Carat Hill. Okay. Why is it called Ten Carat Hill? Hill. That guy over there will take you out to Ten Carat Hill when you're ready. Okay. So that's a little backstory on the trials as opposed to the gyms. That's another thing that I'm excited about for this game. It's completely different from the other Pokemon games in that it doesn't have badges. It has these trials. I love brushing my adorable Pokemon. Do ya? Can't go in there. Oh, that reminds me. They actually improved Pokemon and me in this game, too. The Pokemon you have with you is Greninja, right? That's a rare sight here in the Lola. Really? Interesting. Kahili is a golfing genius. Golf? Conquering the world. Okay. Yeah, as all golf masters do. Huh. I see golf and I'm like, oh, please let there be a golf minigame. Even the locals love it. The tourist burrow? Interesting. It's hot out, so I'm trying to take a break indoors. Ooh, when I, I feel like just when I came back from the dead? He came back in the dead. Or maybe he just said, like, I had just come back from the dead. Okay, there's four islands. We knew that. Promotional video for the Alola region. Huh. Each of the four islands has an awesome Pokemon that people consider a guardian deity. That's going to be like the totem Pokemon, I'm assuming. Alright, let's go ahead and move on. I do want to try and fit this into one video. Hopefully in less than an hour long. Wow, though. I'm so excited. And I already have, like, part of my team picked out. I want to choose- I'm gonna choose Popplio after seeing Litten's final evolution. Not about that anymore. And I'm- I want to, uh, use Alolan Vulpix. Wait, you- Ask some weird old guy- Okay, why do you know that? I know you just got here, but do you want to go to Ten Care Hill? Yeah, let's go. Alright, come on, I'll show you the way. Sweet. music this is really good guys I'm always super excited about the music of Pokemon games when they come out wild Pokemon oh that's a new concept yeah probably I'll be waiting for you at the other side as not much of a hill. It's more like a 
you know, a flat plane almost. Oh, okay, a picky peck. This is like the the Pidgey or the Starly of this generation. I also like the the um that little uh, graphic behind like the HP bar. It reminds me of that cup, that like 80s cup or whatever. Do we have like Pokeballs or anything? No. Okay. Well, we just have to murder this poor picky peck, I guess. Then. At level 23, apparently. Jeez. I wonder if this is actually an area where the Pokemon are level 23 and around that area. I doubt it. This seems like a beginning area. Which it must be. I don't know. I really don't. So... Wild Pokemon! And he actually has a different walking animation in the grass. Interesting. There are Dragon-type Pokemon at the site of Professor Kukui's trial. They're all hiding, though, so you have to look for them. Wow. Dragon Pokemon already. So I'm assuming this must be a later section of the game. You can step in the water. Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh my god, look at this. He actually has a little animation for that. I, I wanted to try it out because it does that in X and Y too. When the eyes of trainers meet... Okay, so this is a trainer battle. Oh no, that's a trainer battle. Okay. It's youngster Joey. Oh my god, it better be. What if it is? That'd be pretty cool. What other Pokemon can we find here, though, I wonder? Oh, does a little, it does a little thing when you're about to be seen by a trainer. Oh, Rockruff. That's cool. I love that there's finally a dog Pokemon that's not normal type. Well, I guess there's the Eeveelusions. Some of them are based off of dogs. But still. Let's murder a dog by throwing shurikens at it. Man. I'm like, I'm digging most of the... most of the designs for the new Pokémon. I love Rockruff and its sun evolution, the moon evolution... uh, kind of just looks like a shadow. 2.0. So, lame. And it, it's practically Zoroark. As well. Yeah, it does this when we get close. And the music fades out. Whoa! Hey, you've got a Pokemon, so let's have a Pokemon battle. Whoa. Oh, I saw Youngster and I was excited. Once again, if I'm ever quiet, I'm just listening to the music. Because this is really good. Oh, and you know what I just realized? I think we're about to fight a totem fight, too, so we might be able to listen to that. Oh, since we fought a Rockruff before, it tells you if certain moves are super effective or not very effective. Interesting. Of course. It's probably pretty obvious what the type of Rockruff is by the name. No, wait, it could be a rock type, huh? Lost, but it was fun. Wait, should I say it was fun, but I lost? I don't know, dude. So we took him out. He wasn't the biggest, the biggest problem. I'm enjoying this. Trial side up ahead. Yo, so there must be dragon types in the cave. Ten Carat Hill. This is Ten Carat Hill. Okay, we're inside Pikachu? Hey there, son, I've been waiting for you. Let me explain the trial. Four Pokemon in, in Ten Carat Hill. Two are called Jangmo'o, and two are called Hakamo'o. Your, your goal in the trial will be to photograph all of them. Really? Photographing? Okay. So we're going to use the Pokefighter to take picture. Okay, that's that's actually really cool. So the trials aren't explicitly battles. Take pictures in places you'll think you'll find Pokemon, like a Pikachu. My Pikachu is really strong, too. He's every bit as strong as your good... Oh, sure. I'm sure he is. Unless this Pikachu is, like, level 60, I don't think it's going to have the same stats as Greninja. To be honest. Got to find a Jangmo first. There should be one hiding somewhere near nearby. So we'll look in the holes, basically. Trials start. Flashy. Uh, how do I use it? He probably said how you use it. Okay, I guess I'll check in the bag for it. 
So... There's nothing in the key items. Oh no, how did I use it? <laughs> Maybe I just go up to it and press A? Okay, yeah, I do. So you can only use it in certain spots. Okay. Look at the world from all different kinds of angles. When the time's right, when you frame the perfect shot, press R and the A button. When you fire up the thing, you take six picks or you run out of space. So we can look around, there's not really much to look around for here. Just put it right in the crosshair. It has a very low frame rate, I I notice, and he's gonna attack us. So this is the dragon type. If I remember correctly, it's dragon and fighting, or maybe it only gets that typing whenever it evolves. Not sure. But, regardless, I'm going to trial Aerial Ace to check. It's level 26. No, it does not have its fighting type yet. Okay. Good to know. So it's just Dragon, then. Alright, well, I guess we'll just take it out. It also has the little splash thing behind its HP. So that's cool. That's probably not a Pokemon I'll be using in my actual playthrough. Just because I like my philosophy this time is I want to have all cute Pokemon. Don't know why exactly, but eh. Take a picture of Jang Lil, get startled, and attack you. They're dragon type Pokemon, so they can be tough, scary opponents. You've got your Greninja and my Pikachu with you. Oh, can we actually use Pikachu? Hold on. I, I was trying to press the start button to pause. Silly me. Oh, it's a level 40 Pikachu. So, let me check its stats to see if it's anywhere near Greninja. Oh, how do we check its stats? Uh, oh, it's there. Okay, I'm used to that being like the, uh, the contest stats, you know? Uh, yeah, that's not even comparable. He has half the stat. He's not comparable to my Greninja in the slightest. But hey, we gotta pick it. What is it move? the moves? I didn't check. Thunderbolt Slam, Growl Iron Tail. So it's close to Ash's Pikachu, I guess. Except it doesn't have Quick Attack or... What's its other move? Oh geez, I don't know. Oh, Electro Ball. That's right. Dang, this is some banging mute. This is a banger. Since Trace of a Pokemon, let's go get it. I notice we're not running into wild encounters. It might just be luck. But it's not happening. There's a Jangamo. Gotcha. And he's gonna attack us. What's up, my dude? Fight me. So it's a dragon type. Night Slash should work just as well, so I'm gonna use that instead of Aerial Ace. See if we can't get the one hit KO. Make this go a little faster. And I notice this Greninja doesn't have Protean. So, and I know it does turn into Rainbow Greninja, or Ash Greninja, later on. That supposedly improves its stats, but, I mean, I'm not sure how useful that it will be if there's not, if it doesn't have Protean, you know? So there's still other Pokemon I can take pictures of. Hey, there it is. So this should be the, the other one, not Jengmu or whatever. The other, the evolution, I believe. So it should be fighting type, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, there he is. Boop, gotcha. Perfect picture. This is Pokemon Sna Hakamo, that's what it is. This is uh this is Pokemon Snap 2.0, guys. Oh yeah, that's a guy. What's a Pikachu gonna do against this? He has Iron Tail, that'll do some damage. Jeez, he looks like he'd have rough skin, I don't know. Uh Aerial Ace. Since it should be a fighting type. Yeah, sure enough. Still doesn't want to hit KO though. And we do have that super potion just in case we ever need it, but I doubt they're gonna throw anything too difficult in the uh, in the demo. Unless it's like one of the side missions like Oras had, because that had like a bunch of missions you could do to get items for the real game. I'm assuming that's how this is gonna work as well. Don't know though, dude. So I have one more Hakamo to find. Oh! Hakaka! That's probably our, their Pokemon. 
Okay, so that's what a ledge looks like that you can jump down. God, this is a banger. Whoa, look at this. I totally would have jumped in there if there weren't a, wasn't a border there. Because I checked it. I checked to make sure you couldn't. This is pretty. This definitely looks like where you'd have a totem battle or something. Not that I would know. Apparently there's a Pokemon here. What do we got? What do we got? Version 1, I notice it says on the bottom screen, so I wonder if there's different versions of this, maybe. And there's also an empty button on the right. Oh, it's just right there. Jeez, I was looking all around like, where is he? He must be flying somewhere. He doesn't have wings. Yo. Oh, dude, he's just gonna straight up beat us. Oh, no, it's a fight. Whoa. Oh, it's Totem Hakamoo. Or a Flare to Life. It's Special Defense Rose, so it has a higher dis special defense than normal. Not that it matters, because we're going to use Aerial Ace on it. It's 36, and it has a little thing above its thing. Oh, you can actually see all of its changes in stat. Oh, that's actually really cool. And it does show the type right there, so that's interesting. Anyway, we now know what's normal effective and super effective, so... Let's start using these aerial aces. We should have it down in two hits. Yeah. Automatize. Or autotomize. I don't know. This raises its speed. So that's probably going to make it... Oh yeah, they call out ally Pokemons. A rock... Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore the rock rough and destroy the much more powerful thing. It actually tells you what this move is going to be super effective against and not very effective against as well if you're fighting two enemies. Dang. That's cool. I tried to turn on the 3D, it does not work. Greninja's Battle Bond. Is that its ability? Okay. And there's Ash Greninja. Okay. And he gains boosted experience? Wow. Maybe that's because it's our dad's. Uh, oh wow, yeah, those stats increased. That special attack was 105 before it evolved. Or, I guess, Ash changed, I guess. The HP is the same. I don't know how, exactly how the other stats changed, though. But attack and special attack both raised by about 40, or 30. So that's... Assuming it goes up to its highest level, that's like a 90 point increase when it's at level 100. So that's... That's pretty, that's pretty powerful. That's a good change, and we still have to take out the water, the rock rough. Use the water shuriken. We got that, dude. And that takes it. That's the totem battle. Dang, though. I guess that's the totem victory sound song. And... Hold on, do the Pokemon always do a little victory thing after you beat them? After you beat a po totem Pokemon? That would mean they made a different animation for every single Pokemon after they win. I hope that's the case. Can't believe you beat the totem Pokemon, son, and you, you and that team were awesome. We didn't even use Pikachu. Looks like you took pictures of all four Pokemon, including the totem. You cleared the trial, congrats. I'll give you a Z-Ring. Okay, so we do get to try Z-Moves, I guess. Probably Pikachus. So that's why we got it. Put the Z-Ring onto our wrist. So we get to see how strong Pika, Pummel, or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, how strong that move is, if we can look at it. And I'm assuming it's Pikachu's Z-Crystal. Electrium Z. So it's just the electric Z-Move that we're using, not Pikachu's. Z-Ring Z-Crystal, yeah, you can use really awesome Pokemon moves, Z-Moves. Sun. Oh, that was how. Well, you got a Z-Ring. I guess you cleared the trial, eh? Congratulations! I've got a trial for you, too. Look over here. Oh, jeez. Look at them. When the squad rolls up. Lord. I forgot that I gave you my super potion and had to run all the way out here. What? Big Sis, there's the numbskull. Oh, it's Big Sis. I love her character design, to be honest. Look at this. A killer. I love this music too. I'm Plumeria. 
or maybe Plumeria. I don't know, Plumeria, I'm gonna say. Team School Admin. Yo, what up, my dude? So you're a son, huh? Hmm, I guess you do look like a trainer who can get things done. Do I? Oh, the eyeshadow. And she's done. Sis, are you not gonna get revenge on this numb school? If you give up on it now, Sis will be adding insult to injury. I got this. Settling the score for my cute little henchman is part of my job. Oh lord. It's a little kinky. Don't sweat it, son. Pikachu can use Z-Power now, but you can only use it once in a battle. Are you gonna face off with her against Greninja's Water Shuriken? Or are you gonna go with Pikachu, which you can use Z-Power? Why Water Shuriken specifically? You know what? I bet Water Shuriken gets a power increase if it's Ash Greninja. That makes sense. You really think you could take out my adorable, po adorable Pokemon with your Z-Power? Wait, what's our Pokemon gonna be? Okay. So this is the admin music, I guess. Okay, it's a Golbat. So, Pikachu. Oh, we're automatically throwing out Pikachu, okay. So, Z Power is on the left here. Z L A. I can't check out move info. That's weird. And now I can. Power 175. It's a special attack. The user hits the target with a powerful electric current collected by its Z power. The power varies depending on the original move. Wait, what do you mean the original move? Oh! It replaces an electric attack we already have. So what that means is, depending on the Z crystal, you don't necessarily need an electric Pokemon to use an electric Z move. Oh my god, that's so cool. So if we had, say, a Steel Z move, Pikachu could also use it in the place of Iron Tail. And I wonder if that affects the accuracy as well. I'm assuming Z moves will always hit, because that would suck if it could miss. In that case, you could get some real good stuff out of Hydro Cannon, or moves like that if it depends on the power of the original move. Look at that, absolutely demolished. But I bet you'll be you'll be seeing that in competitive. Either like Hyper Beam, which actually could probably be used with uh, Snorlax's Z move. Maybe you can only use it with Slam. I don't know, that's gonna be really weird. I guess you had to hold that, that lost. Okay. Man, I have so many questions about how exactly Z moves will work. And I need to know them. You're quite the trainer. You won't get off so easy next time, though. I hope you're looking forward to next time we meet. I like her a lot. Jeez. Yo, didn't you just get to Alola? You better be thankful our sis took it easy on you. Yo, sis, wait. <laughs> His walk's gonna get me every time. Oh, Pikachu's riding on her head. What a great match, son. Woo. Pikachu, thanks for helping him out with the trial. Yeah, dude. Pikachu went back to Professor Kukui. You're awesome, son. You drew out the power of Pokemon and showed us the best moves you could. Yeah. Son, you're going to be a wonderful Pokemon trainer. I want to be an awesome trainer, too. I'm assuming he should be our rival? Son, now that you've finished the trial, I'll show you the way to the Masal Malasada shop. Okay. Great idea. As a welcome gift to be my treat. Oh, Malasada is a food, I guess. And son's mom. About to eat every Malasada in the shop. I find it interesting how we're, like, pale. And our mom is very, very tan. Oh. God, look, this looks so good. Guys. You don't know how excited I am for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Look at this. Look at this. The colorful characters. Oh my lord. My heart is captured by this demo. That's what it was meant for, I guess. More adventures, adventures waiting for you in the full game. So I guess that's the demo. And I'm 
assuming that if you go back into the demo again, you can do those little missions. I won't be showing that off here, however, because I need to do it mainly on my new 3DS, where I'm actually going to transfer the data over to my to Sun and Moon. So yeah, that was the demo for Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm super excited. Honestly, I hope you all are too. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you in some other video that's not going to be Pokemon related. See you all then, and goodbye.